All right, so let's go ahead and kick off the demo. Kate, our product marketing manager from Atlassian, will also be joining us. So let's dive right in. To demo our integrations, we'll walk you through the incident management process for a fictitious company we'll call FinTech LLC. For those of you that use Zendesk, this is a familiar screen for you. And for those of you that don't, this is the Zendesk support agent view. So I'm a customer support agent at FinTech, and this is where I spend my day. As you can see, I've just received an email ticket from our customer, Polomy, who is asking about an outage. And I don't see any indication of an outage in my status page app here in my Zendesk view, but Polomy's ticket could be the canary in a coal mine that uncovers a potential incident. Luckily, my team has created a trigger that will initiate a workflow in Ops Genie anytime a Zendesk ticket includes the word outage. So let's take a look. Kate, over to you. Thanks, Emily. Let's just first take a peek into how we've set up our integration between Ops Genie and Zendesk. It is a bi-directional integration, and you have the option to configure it to your specific needs. So in this case, we don't want every single Zendesk ticket to create an Ops Genie alert, and we certainly don't want every Zendesk ticket to trigger a P1 alert. So what we've done is in setting it up, you have the options here. So you are only going to create an alert if we want the description to contain outage, and then an alert is created. And we've set that up so that way the priority is P1, because if there's an outage, then obviously there's something seriously affecting our customers, and we want to be on top of that. So to control the way that this bi-directional integration works from the Zendesk side to the Ops Genie side, you can turn this on or you can turn this off. That's totally up to you. It just depends on what works for your use case. Um, but if a public reply is added to the ticket in Zendesk, for example, a note will be added to the alert in Ops Genie. So then if you scroll further down, this talks about how Ops Genie talks to Zendesk and you can determine when the alert is closed in Ops Genie, a note will be added to the ticket in Zendesk. If the alert's acknowledged, a note will be added to the ticket in Zendesk. So because of the bi-directional integration with Ops Genie, you can see that Zendesk, once that ticket was generated in Zendesk, an alert was triggered in Ops Genie as a P1. At the time of setting up the integration, we used the logic in order to generate a P1 alert anytime there was outage in the message coming from a Zendesk ticket. So you can see that here. So what we're gonna do is acknowledge that, and then because of the integration between Ops Genie and Status Page, we have the Ops Genie alert updating the Status Page component for the payment portal. And this is where Palomi is asking, is there an outage? So we're going to take a look back into Zendesk. I'll send that back to you, Emily, so you can show us there what that looks like. All right, thanks Kate. So now we are back in Zendesk and I can see that the status page app is now indicating that there's an outage. So I can go ahead and respond to Plomi using a macro to save time and let her know that we are on the case and working to resolve the issue. With the status page app, I can also include a comment here that provides more details to Plomi about the outage. And FinTech LLC has also taken advantage of the status page integration with Zendesk Chat and Guide products as well. With the chat integration, agents can view status page incidents in chat and also see when new incidents occur or maintenance are, is underway. They can also keep customers informed by adding incident details in the chat message. And with the guide integration, Anytime, an, uh, anytime another FinTech LLC customer visits the FinTech Help Center, which is powered by Zendesk Guide, they will see the current status at the top of the Help Center. This is a great way to keep customers informed and deflect, deflect tickets and inquiries to your support team. So that covers it. There are a few ways you can get started with the integration. If you are a Zendesk customer, you can simply navigate to the admin panel here and under, uh, under the apps, you can click select manage, where you can find more details about apps and also visit our marketplace where you can find more details about our status page integrations. And if you're an Atlassian user, 
you can get you can find more details about status page and app ops genie from the apps tray in your atlassian account and if you are new to either product you can visit our home pages for more details um, and both atlassian and zendesk offer free trials of all the products we've reviewed in this demo so you can visit atlassian.com for more details or zendesk.com for more details